for instance when interacting with the chat gpt you are essentially sharing your information uh, with as uh, without subscription there is no choice but uh, but to allow your data for model training platform like open ai uh, let the premium user to to have more control over their inputs and outputs it's like saying uh, you you can use these services these are uh, these are the offer uh, this vip uh, treatment but these vip treatment comes at a cost so with open source llm uh, no doubt you get more control over the data which looks wonderful but remember one thing there is turnover side as well in certain scenarios the deployment of a trained model could need hosting it on a cloud or under the supervision of a third party entity in such cases concern should be exercised when sharing sensitive or confidential data for the deployment purpose assalam alaikum everyone welcome back to our journey through the interesting landscape of language models today we will be discussing a critical topic of large language model which is data privacy and security in both open source and uh, closed source large language model as we know that there exist multiple security and privacy consideration which are uh, especially associated with large language model uh, especially uh, when handling the sensitive data for organizations so it is necessary to carefully evaluate these factors including their cost size and data privacy when we we are selecting an appropriate solution for the open source or uh, Uh, closed source uh, language model before we get into the details make sure uh, you are comfortable with python programming and have a basic understanding of natural language processing uh, and uh, language models so let's discuss the objectives we will discuss the importance of data privacy and uh, security concern and uh, why it is needed there is the agenda for today's discussion we will see some basics of uh, security and privacy and uh, then uh, the need for security and privacy at the end we will discuss the limitations and uh, uh, even uh, then we will conclude the whole discussion let's understand the basic concepts of data security and privacy in large language model so data privacy basically ensure uh, that sensitive information used to train and fine tune the model uh, uh, stay confidential data security on the other hand is about securing the data from unauthorized access breaches and all those uh, dangerous attacks we will not be addressing the prompt injection attacks in this context uh, so instead we will be focusing on another approach uh, involving the utilization of model resources uh, from third party entity and the decision making process between the open source uh, solution as well as on premises setup for the purpose of fine tuning and the open source model as well as the closed source model let's discuss why security and privacy are needed and what are the justification behind our expanded concern regarding the data privacy and security imagine you are a, uh, you are using a pre trained model and you need to fine tune it ensuring the privacy and security is like holding a safety protection while moving safely so there are several several reasons to keep uh, things uh, to keep sensitive data safe building trust stay uh, ethical comply with regulations remove biases prevent unauthorization access and maintaining the control over the data Okay, uh, let's start with an example. If you are sharing your sensitive data with a pre-trained language model, and this model is updating itself after a certain amount of time, but this might get a bit unclear when it comes to an organizational uh, organization's ownership in case of sensitive data sharing. So the data you might share, uh, you might be used uh, as a part of the model's training. So because ownership and control start. might be unclear in the present landscape where the evolution of extensive language model has been remarkable and uh, they are quite unexpected it's uh, somehow important to to discuss these concept to navigate the landscape effectively so let's consider an example of open ai for instance when interacting with the chat gpt you are essentially sharing your information uh, with as uh, without subscription there is no choice but Uh, but to allow your data for model training so in case of subscription 
they provide you the advantage of unleashing the model's full potential and offering the control over your data. However, a key aspect remains uh, slightly ambiguous. Once uh, the data is inputted and data is provided to the model, the model begin uh, retaining, uh, retaining and remember, remembering it. So potentially ne negating the influence of the data is somehow uh, it's ambiguous. So to illustrate these things, uh, let's take another example. When you ask chat GPT a question or engaging it in a conversation, you are actually sharing your information with the model. If you are not subscribed, uh, you, you don't have such way uh, in whether you, your data is used to use in training the model. It, it basically uh, they, they usually use it for training on the other hand if you choose a subscription plan you get the benefit of using the model on its uh, full uh, potential and having some control over your data so uh, one point here you need to uh, notice uh, that is a bit unclear that once the model get uh, over the data it become less relevant this shows that the uh, you when you manage data its implication can be quite intricate in the context of these evolving language model if based on your data what is used in training phase then used for fine tuning model there are more chance of sensitive data leakage okay uh, let's see another aspect attackers might try some fancy tricks to extract the sensitive training data from the models it's like trying to look behind the secret uh, behind the screen to figure out the magic tricks. The most important things, uh, ethical thing is ethical consideration. So if the sensitive data in, involve in uh, like personal information, there are some serious ethical concern to address uh, these things. Uh, it's like asking, uh, is it applicable to use that personal information in a way for uh, with whatever uh, you are using it for training or for fine tuning. Uh, so uh, let's talk about the premium option. Okay, uh, some platform like OpenAI uh, let the premium user to, to have more control over their inputs and outputs. It's like saying uh, you you can use these services. These are uh, these are the offer uh, this VIP uh, treatment, but these VIP treatment comes at a cost. The model and its data uh, the model and its data are kept separate, but it might uh, but might put you in trouble while talking about the cost because if we consider the open ai as an example as an option they offer premium access but the cost raise per token in the llms so it's like having uh, front row seats uh, you are enjoying the movie and theater but you need to pay the price in the current language uh, uh, in the current uh, landscape of the language model the advancement and expensive language model have been uh, significant sometimes you ca it can exceed the initial expectation as well it's necessary to explore these concepts to to get the comprehensive understanding about all these aspects when you are going to choose a model for training or whatever you are going to fine tune it or you are going to choose any uh, third party for uh, for deployment of a model for instance, let's take an example of OpenAI into uh, consideration. Engaging with their chat GPT might lead to the to uh, sharing your data, especially if you are not subscribed. In case of subscription, they offer a chance to utilize the model optimality and uh, they can uh, also allow you to manage your data somewhat. However, the uh, another uh, problem arise here while discussing the expenses. For instance, OpenAI provide premium access, but it costs can increase with the number of tokens used in uh, these language models. So to explain this point further, consider the, uh, the uh, another example of OpenAI, uh, uh, which uh, whatever they are offering when when you interact with chat GPT or with uh, small uh, similar tools or similar chatbot, you are essentially uh, sharing your information with the model. If you decide to subscribe, you might gain the advantage of unlocking uh, the model's full capabilities. But having uh, uh, no doubt you are uh, you can have your uh, full control over your data but but they provide you limited access un until you reach your purchase token range so uh, taking open ai as an example while they are providing premium access it's important to aware that the expenses can display as the model uh, processes more token in its functioning
Okay, previously we have discussed the closed source uh, model with their uh, availability and uh, different options. Now, let's see the uh, open source model in comparison with the cloud source model in case of both cost and privacy concern. So with open source LLM, uh, no doubt you get more control over the data, which looks wonderful. But remember one thing, there is turnover side as well. In certain scenarios, the deployment of a train model could need hosting it on a cloud or under the supervision of a third party entity. In such cases, concern should be exercised when sharing sensitive or confidential data for the deployment purpose. As it could potentially result in the accidental exposure of such information to extern external party parties. So, when you deploy on a third party devices, you might wonder who is managing it. So the third party provider could get their hands on uh, uh, your model secrets and as well as on data. It's like uh, renting a house and uh, wondering if the owner has an additional key. So plus uh, cloud servers can have a vulnerability and that uh, there's like leaving the back door open for cyber damages. Okay, let's discuss some trade offs. Hosting the model on your own territory give you 100% control over data. And you can also monitor it uh, who has, has access to use it. But it comes with a price tag, setup, cost, maintenance, and many more things. So imagine you are trying to teach a really big model. You are trying to train a really big model. It's like uh, one with 70 billion uh, model, for example. To do that, uh, to train that 70 billion parameter model, you need a lot of powerful com computers, GPUs, and other things uh, which are needed for training. Now, you have got a choice to make you uh, that can either, uh, either you are uh, trying to share your data with others, uh, uh, which make the things easier because they are handling uh, the technical stuff or uh, you can try to do it all uh, at uh, uh, all at your own but if you go uh, uh, at the right route it could end up costing you a lot more like 40 times more than both the way you choose so remember that there might be some challenges in keeping everything working smoothly and making sure it's uh, uh, depends upon you are needed Okay, let's see some TTP, uh, including Amazon uh, Web Services, Google Cloud, and Microsoft Azure are like uh, uh, those nominal entities of hosting uh, is a deployment of your model. They offer everything uh, from computing and uh, uh, the machine learning AWS ha has a free tire for the uh, uh, new buyers and uh, uh, Google Cloud offer a similar services and Azure get some reserved VIP options. So you may choose as per your need. Okay, let's compare some of these uh, big models like GPT-3, BERT, and T5. We are looking to fine tune the, uh, we are looking to, to see the fine tuning control, the data privacy, the security, the biasness, and uh, some other aspects. So each one has, each, each of these models has its own strength and weaknesses. So in this table, uh, the data privacy of different large language models uh, in term of fine tuning, data encryption, and uh, data transparency. We will be discussing each of uh, each and every of them. So uh, fine tuning, it is basically uh, uh, referred to the control, refer to who has the control over the fine tuning process of the LLM. If the fine tuning is done by the LLM provider, then the provider has full control over the data that is used to fine tune the model. If the fine tuning is done by the user, then the user has control over the data that is used to fine tune the model. So uh, let's see the data encryption. This refer to whatever the data that is used to train the uh, train and fine tune the LLM is uh, in encrypted form. If the data is encrypted, then it is more difficult for the unauthorized individual to uh, to access and use this data. So uh, next uh, aspect is data transparency. So this refer to the to whatever uh, the LLM provider is uh, 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 whether it is transparent about the data that is used to train and fine tune the LLM. And uh, if the provider is uh, transparent about the data, then user can more confident and uh, then the data, then uh, their data is being used uh, responsibly. Also in this table, the data privacy of LLM uh, is uh, displayed as 
it varies depending upon the llm providers so some llm providers such as open ai has more control over the fine tuning process and they use uh, encrypted data other llm providers such as google and uh, have less control over the fine tuning and they provide uh, do not use encrypted uh, data as well Let's discuss some challenges associated with data security and privacy. So, uh, protecting and safeguarding the data in large language model come with its part of challenges as well. We are talking about the data sensitivity, uh, their uh, leakage, uh, leakage issues, fine tuning control, model reusability, and uh, even those third party risks. It's like navigating uh, through a mess of hazards to keep your values uh, valuable safe. Let's conclude the whole discussion and uh, about the uh, data security and privacy of LLM. So remembering one thing, data privacy and security are not just buzzwords uh, from chat GPT-3, uh, from chat GPT and the variant of GPT like GPT-3 to BERT. Each LLM offer a unique package of power and protection. So balancing these uh, functionalities of the models and uh, privacy concern is the most important thing for making the ethical and uh, responsible choices. So that's all. I hope it was a helpful and interesting session uh, as we discussed the most important aspect of the uh, most important and critical aspects of the language models. So thank you very much for listening.